What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 25 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is customizing and really adding legends to the current graph that we have. So we actually covered legends long ago, like 20 tutorials ago or something. Um, but we quickly saw how, how legends could actually kind of get in the way of our data. And so this tutorial is going to be a little bit more about like, yeah, adding a legend, but also customizing that legend to hopefully make sure it's out of the way. So uh, with that, let's just go ahead and hop right in. So first of all, we want to add legends. And uh, let me bring that up one more time. Really, the only thing that doesn't necessarily require a legend is the stock prices themselves. One, it would be really hard to add a legend for that. But also, if someone is looking at an open, high, low, close chart, uh, it's fairly obvious to them, I think, what this is. Like people, either you know what this chart is or, or you don't, but uh, we're not going to really worry too much about adding a label to that, but you could, I suppose, kind of add one, but it, like I, it would be kind of hard. You'd want to add like something that has like slashes to it or something, and we can talk about that, uh, how, to, how you might get away with doing something like that, but for now, we're, we're, we'll leave that alone. So anyway, we're going to close this. And let's go ahead and get started. So coming down to basically right before plt.show, let's uh, let's invoke some uh, legends. So uh, there's a couple of things that you could do here. You don't you could invoke the legend right away, but I'm gonna try to keep this code all together just for the purpose of the tutorial. But uh, you might want to organize it kind of like like I've been trying to get you guys in the habit of is organize things uh, together. You know, ax2 stays together or AX2V stays together, AX2 stays together, AX1 stays together, and so on, and AX3 together. Um, so you might want to do that, but again, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to keep everything together, otherwise we're going to spend a lot of time like zooming around in our code. So I'm going to put it all down here, but you can organize it if you want, or be bad if you want, I don't care. So <laughs> anyway, we'll say AX1.legend, easy. AX2V.legend, easy ax3 dot legend easy now we don't have any data for any of these so we have to add in uh add in the actual data that will um kind of comprise of our legends so to start we're going to come all the way up to ax1 and this is where we're plotting that high minus low so now we just need to add a label to it we're going to say label equals uh and we'll just call this h minus l the, there's really no reason. Uh, this one doesn't necessarily even need a label, uh, but we'll add one anyways. Then what we're gonna do is, uh, we'll leave price alone, I think. So the candlestick, yeah, we're just not gonna mess with that. But then now let's go to AX2V, that would be here. And like I was saying before, whenever you have polygon data, basically if you have any data where there's a fill, uh, you can't add a label to it for whatever reason. Uh, so what we need to do is make some fake data. So let's do that real quick. So let's say ax2v.plot. Uh, and we'll plot empty set, empty set. And then we give it a... Um, this one needs the same color. So we're going to say color here equals... And we give it the color of that 0079A3. And then it also needs to retain that alpha. So we'll say alpha equals 0 0.4. And um, then finally, we need to give it the label of uh, volume. So people will know like what is that blue stuff down there anyways, right? And then finally, we come down here. This is where we're plotting the moving averages. So we'll do comma, comma. Uh, and then here, we'll say the label here. To make it kind of dynamic, we'll say label is the string value of MA1 plus the string of MA. Okay, so that's gonna, so if you recall, MA1 is defined way at the top of our script here, 10, and then MA2 is 30. We'll go back down. Um, so let's just copy and paste this. So copy, paste, and this time it's MA2 for MA2. And so now we've got labels with everything. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see what we're what we're working with. We've got a non-keyword argument after. Let's see. So I really shouldn't. Oh, <laughs> right. Got it. Okay. Try again. All right. 
So we have our legends now, cool, but we can clearly see that, wow, these are in the way. <laughs> so, so what do we do about this? Uh, so let's close out of this and close out of this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, some alpha to the legend itself. And we can do a few other things. So where we have ax1.legend, let's just come right below it. And what we're going to do is we're going to say leg for legend. So on the under case, lower case, sorry, dot get underscore frame. And then we're going to say, uh, actually, let's go back one more. Let's do... Uh, we have well, first we need to define legend. So legend will equal ax1 dot legend and Then we can specify a few things in here. We can first of all say um, Location equals nine and then actually this is loc it's short for location loc for location equals nine and then we can specify a few things this one and number of call we're just going to copy and paste this a bunch, so I'm going to say two, but for this, you don't really need that, but I'll explain number of columns here in a minute. Um, and then properties will be equal to, uh, let's make them a little smaller. That font is a little little large for what we're actually looking for. So let's make the font 11. Uh, then we'll do comma. We can then do... Really, we, that's probably all we necessarily need. And then finally, let's do um, ledge dot get uh, underscore frame dot set underscore alpha, and we'll set the alpha to 0 0.4. So that'll affect the first legend. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And now you can see a few things have changed. Okay, so the first, first of all, the legend is a little smaller. It's alpha, so we can see through the legend. And then finally, it's small, or <laughs> the location has changed. It's up here. Uh, so the alpha, you should already understand. The location was changed by that loc equals nine. This is just location number nine. We can move that around all we want. I like that location, but I mean, you can kind of sit here and play with it all day if you want. You know, you could do location uh, three, okay. And um, it's down here, like the lower left column. Uh, or the lower left corner rather so you can kind of play with that i always i think location nine usually works out best so that's usually where i just go ahead and put it um now let's take this copy come down to ax2v paste ax3 paste and then instead of ax1 that's ax2v and then instead of ax1 here it's ax3 now save and run that and now we're all fixed up. So the last thing that I want to talk about with legends was that number of columns. So that really kind of holds true here is the only place we really see why this matters. But we're saying this has two columns. So it's going to put, you know, 10 MA next to 30 MA. But what if we had number of columns was like one, it will put them on top of each other. Okay. So you can kind of specify how many columns you want that legend to actually have. For a graph this size, <laughs> you probably need to have as many columns as you have data points. But um, for maybe like that big chart, you know, you could have a two by two, no problem, or even a two by three or something. It really wouldn't make a huge difference. Um, so uh, the final thing that I want us to go ahead and do is I want to cover like saving, saving the saving the plot. Okay, so this is our, our plot right now. And if I go to uh, save the figure, um, we can save it really wherever we want. I wouldn't mind saving it in the actual location, but we can save it to H or something. It really doesn't matter. I'll save it as figure one to this, you know, my H location. So users H. And let me go ahead and head there. Let's see. Uh, C users H. And now I'm looking for figure one. Here it is. Uh, this is the graph. Okay, so it doesn't, it, it looks a little different uh, than what we're, we were intending. Okay, so it's not a huge difference, but we don't have that kind of background that we're expecting. So uh, let's close this. And the, the, what we can do to kind of circumvent this little issue is we can go up to the very top of our script here where we're defining figure. And what we'll do is we'll say the face color is equal, and this is the color from, um, from 538 that we're using. So I'm just gonna hard code that in there and just know that's the color from 538. So F0, F0, F0. So that adds that face color. And let's like look at it real quick, make sure that's correct. Yeah. 
So then what we can do is we can close this. And then uh, one thing that we can do is we can go to the very, very bottom where we're calling plt.show. And basically after plt.show, we can go fig.savefig. And we can save the figure as, I don't know, uh, google.png. And then we can specify the face color here. And we can always say face color equals fig.get underscore face color, empty parameters. And now we'll run this. There's our graph. We'll close it. It's been saved. Let me navigate to our uh, directory here. Uh, Matplotlib. Bring this over. So there is Google image. Bring that up. And there you go. So now it looks exactly how it's supposed to look. So, okay. Um, that's basically all I really wanted to show with uh, graphs, like typical graphs with matplotlib. Now, for as far as the series is concerned, uh, moving forward, what I want us to do is we're going to plot, do base map. So we'll cover the base map stuff. I've covered those as well, but that's that part of the series is old. And then 3D graphs cover those as well. That part of the series is old too. So anyway, um, we'll be leaving this stock chart behind from now or for now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or whatever leading up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until the next video.